Some of the most valuable things you have in fishing are your waypoints. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you how to save your waypoints and nav data from a Humminbird Helix unit, as well as the Apex Solix platform. We just need a SD card. This one happens to be 32 gigs. You need something that's 32 gigs or smaller. And this one also has the adapter. So we'll need the smaller chip for the Apex unit in the front, but let's get started on saving our waypoints to an SD card that will then transfer to our computer or a hard drive so we've got a backup to the units. All right, beginning with our Helix unit here, first thing we're gonna do is we are going to insert our blank SD card. There's nothing on this card, it is unlocked. We'll put this in and from there, it's gonna tell us that the card has been encrypted. We're gonna select menu twice and we're gonna scroll over to the nav tab here. And from there, we're gonna scroll down to waypoints, routes, tracks. Select the over options on this screen. We're gonna scroll up one to options. And from options, we'll select the option that says select all and. We are going to export. So we're going to export all of our waypoints, routes, and tracks to this SD card. It's gonna ask us to confirm yes. And boom, we have the data that was stored on this Hummingbird unit onto this card. Now, if you've got Helix units, all of the data is stored locally on each unit. So you'll need to do this with each one of the Helix units in your boat to get the full complement of nav data. Now let's move to the computer. Okay, at the computer here, I have set up a folder. This is James Linder's boat and I've dated it. I feel it's handy to have that. I like to do this process a couple times per year. So the unit I selected from, I named as a folder as Helix Council L, representing left. So I'm just gonna select that folder. I'm gonna place the card into the card reader. And when this populates, I'm going to drag all of the information that's on this card into that folder. And once that data is moved, it's not a lot of data, it's pretty small. I'm going to nuke or trash everything that is on the card so I can go back and start the process again. So I'm gonna do this with all of the Helix units. So as I'm moving to the Apex unit, one thing I'd like to mention is that if you have the Apex system, What's kind of nice is that one unit will back everything up. So if your Apex and Solix units are hooked up to a network, every time you store a waypoint and you move the boat, it's recording that nav data to every unit in the boat. So the backup on a Helix Solix, if that's all you have in the boat, you only need to do one unit. So let's dive into Apex here. All right, again, if you're using Apex or Solix, the operating systems are the same. So we're gonna use the micro card in this case same deal as the helix though we just insert this into the card reader here we'll pop that baby in and now there's a couple options that you have for exporting your nav data on this platform so i'm going to select the home screen and we can choose files and when we are in the files tab here we've got the option to export our nav data to the card here we go. So we're exporting it here and I'll show you just quickly. All we had was one waypoint on this unit. This is his uh, live unit. So he doesn't have a lot of waypoints here, but the other place that we can do this is in the nav data. And here, when you're in this, you can see, yep, only one way, waypoint. If we wanted to export from here, we would just hold this and it'll give us the option to export everything. So if you had a case where you just wanted to export your waypoints, not your routes, tracks, you know, whatever, for whatever reason, this would give you the choice in the uh, nav data tab to select just the data that you want to export, which in many cases might just be a track of a lake you went to or something you wanted to share with a safe navigation route. So that's it. We can remove the card now. Going to do the same thing and back this up onto the computer. One last thing is that because you exported your waypoints off of your Hummingbird unit doesn't mean that it took them off the unit. They're still there. This is just simply a backup and it's a great practice to get into a couple times of year. It really does take hardly any time and it's just a great peace of mind knowing that you've got them backed up. One last thing that I'll add is that uh, 
If you're getting a new bolt, loading stuff back on, if you have the same configuration, it's fine to load uh, with Helix, it's fine to load the, the waypoints back on to the exact same units that you took them off of. Or if you've got a di different configuration, I'd recommend just putting all of the waypoints onto one unit, not putting all of them onto all the units because that's gonna start to add up to a lot of duplication over time and you're gonna start to overload the system with waypoints if you're putting duplicates onto the system all the time. And with Apex Solix, add it into one unit on the network and it populates throughout the network. So great peace of mind knowing that you've got your waypoints for years to come.